Today, we remember the fallen, and soon, one Knoxville dad will face his first Father's Day without his son, Ryan. Army Staff Sergeant Ryan Knauss was killed on duty last fall, serving in Afghanistan, the last American soldier killed in America's longest war. Tonight, how his father is coping in the months after the sudden loss of his young son. But NBC News has also heard from Taliban sources. They tell NBC News that it was a suicide attack that killed 13 people. A little bit of the news reports and just, and then, then the truth. A Knoxville father learned about the death of his son nine months ago, the victim of a suicide bombing in Afghanistan. Army Staff Sergeant Ryan Canals, the last soldier killed in America's longest war, was 23. A part of me is gone. And uh, so what, and what, what do you do? And moments after hearing the life-changing news, Greg Knauss immediately faced another burden. When I, when I had to call my older son, Ryan's brother, and that was probably the worst phone call I've ever made. Because because Ryan and Tyler were close. They, they grew up close. They were best buddies. What helped you through it? Those initial days and then the initial weeks. You, you said you don't know how to go on when you're, you're faced with something like that. How did you go on? Well, first and foremost, um, my faith in Jesus. Um, so that's first and foremost through this whole time. Um, I know a lot of people we're praying, and I feel that those prayers were answered. Um, family, of course. And then came the unexpected outpouring of support from Ryan's fellow veterans. He was dedicated. He loved what he was doing, and he was proud of everything that we did out there together. He was everything we needed him to be. I think one thing that is solidify my acceptance of everything is just how how much Ryan took care of the people around him. You know, I did try to raise him to be a hard worker. Uh, he was very smart, made excellent grades. Um, he was, you know, I had him for 18 years. And, uh, and then when he was sworn in, uh, suddenly he was gone and, and off to the Army and then got married right after basic training. So, you know, as a parent, I'm like, okay, you've got to start living your own life. I, I want to be involved in your life, but you need your space too. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I believe that's the healthy way to do it. So, you know, I tried to give him space, even though still daddy, still, <laughs> but... Um, so to hear, to hear that is, is special. What do you say about the community support? That, that was huge too, especially when um, Ryan was brought back to Knoxville for the community service. Mourners line the route for the return of Ryan's remains for a public memorial service at his alma mater, Gibbs High School. It, it was such a a mix of emotions. I was, I was proud. I was, I was humbled that that many people would stop their day and stand on the side of the road to, to acknowledge Ryan, to honor him. After the public tribute, Family members paid their final respects to Ryan at a private military burial in Arlington National Cemetery. But that was very special, yeah. Yeah, I'll never forget that either. In a solemn duty, Ryan's name was recently added to the East Tennessee Veterans Memorial. And every year, volunteers will read it aloud as Knoxville and the nation pause to honor all of our military war dead. I'm, I'm very honored, humbled, and I was blessed to be his dad. But for the father of a fallen soldier, every day 
is Memorial Day. Right now online, you can hear more from Ryan's military friends about the impact he had on their lives in the service and sacrifice section of WBIR.com. Leslie? John, thank you. What an incredible story.